All right, so Rena says, um, by today I will have interviewed a couple of potential new VAs that my first VA had helped to find. Yay, that's amazing. Um, my first amazing VA does day-to-day -day operations, graphics, video editing. I want the second VA to handle social media and be a backup for day-to-day -day operations. So my question is, how do you manage more than one VA? If they do different things, do you have your top VA manage the other? How does that happen? Or do you handle each one separately? Okay, so um, here's a flow chart for you. Okay, so let me talk through this. So that's you at the top, CEO, okay? You manage your head VA. Your head VA is going to oversee your new VA to some degree, right? And um, the way that we have it set up is that like um, Nika has handed off tasks that she doesn't want to do anymore or that she, um, you know, as your VA grows, your VA becomes an expert in certain things and it's better that they spend time on those certain things and then hand off maybe the more routine um, process driven stuff, right? So uh, like, for example, Nika handed off the um, our newsletters, uh, compiling our newsletters, she handed off, um, you know, every day I do my flash briefing, um, but it was always Nika who was like scouring the news and putting all those notes together for me when I wake up so I can record the flash briefing. We handed that off because that's very process driven, very easy to hand off. So basically your head VA, you're going to ask her um, what she wants to unload and what she wants to focus more of on, more on. Okay, so that's going to make everybody happy. Um, and then you've got your new systems. Okay, so in your case, you're talking about adding like social media management. So maybe your new VA doesn't know how to lead your, uh, I mean, your, your old VA doesn't know how to lead your new VA on that. So that's going to be, um, that's where up to up at the top next to you on both sides, you've got a shared Google Doc and your weekly meetings, okay? So you will have some, you will play a role. It really just depends on the skill level of your new VA. Like, I don't know what your VA knows or doesn't know, but it really is as simple as you um, can record an introductory Loom video. You can um, uh, share trainings from, you know, from Front Row CEO, systems from Front Row CEO, like all the stuff that, you know, that the um, social media system that we have, you can share all those trainings with her, have her create your now new internal systems, because, you know, the first work that your new VA is going to do with anything new that you introduce to her is create those systems, right? Just like you did with your first VA. Um, so she's going to be documenting things and processes and that sort of thing. So um, it's so so the short answer is there's a combination. It really depends on uh, what your VA, your new VA knows and doesn't know. So you will need to manage to some degree. But I would share the Google Doc with both your head VA and your new VA. And, and by Google Doc, that's your daily one sheet that says, um, what did you work on today? What do you need help with? And do you have any suggestions, right? Those are the three things we put on that um, shared document. Um, so make sure your head VA is also in, on those communications. Um, and then your weekly meetings, your, both people are going to come, come to. And it'll be similar. Like we, we go around the room. It, you know, everybody has about five minutes more if they need it. Um, like what are you working on? What do you need feedback on? you know, what's, what's ahead kind of thing. Um, and so between those two things, uh, you should be able to get a handle on it and then, and then not, and, and then be able to let go of the handle, um, because you'll all literally be on the same page and your VA can then oversee your, your head VA can oversee your new VA.